Jerry Mallory here, SBNationPrideDetroit.com. The phrase of the day is Martha Clay, don't play. Instant reaction to the firing. Whew. Chills. That's the first thing uh, that, that, that happened for me. The first thing that went over my body was complete chills. Now, it's a long process. We're going to have plenty to talk about from an editorial standpoint. We know Pride Detroit is the place to be. Uh, everything as far as opinions, as far as pieces. So Jeremy and the boys will take care of that. I'm just here to give a short little reaction. Like I said, the first thing, uh, the first reaction was chills because this is instrumental. One of the biggest days in Detroit Lions history, but it could be all for naught. This is the first of a process. There's so much more to be done, and the next guy you bring in will affect the team for the next decade. I, I can go on and on about how important this hiring is. <clears throat> you guys know that. Uh, this is a, a monumental moment for the Lions. And I'll just say this. Uh, there's a lot of names being talked about, a lot of potential replacements. Please, Martha Ford, you've done a great job, okay? Doing this firing is big. Bring in a known name. Overpay. We've gone that route before. We've gone the route of uh, a Matt Millen or a Martin Mayhew, an up-and-comer with potential. No. Do what you have to do. Bringing in a known name. No, not a former coach to be a GM. Bringing in a guy that has done it before and has had success. Much easier said than done. Availability always comes into play. So ultimately, that might not uh, be an option. We might not be able to lure a guy away. There might not be a guy that's a former GM that's you know still with it. But at all possible, bring in a known name. Because we pretty much have to turn this franchise around. And the biggest issue has been putting uh, control, giving the car keys, to guys that don't know what they're doing. So if at any at any cost, pull a Tom Gorse. He gave money and power and whatever he wanted to Stan Van Gundy. And it's early for the Pistons, but so far we seem like we have a guy that's in charge that uh, will be able to turn the team around. This is needed for the Lions. Bring a guy in that has done it before. Give him the money. Give him the power. Let's make it happen. Uh, very exciting times for Detroit Lions. Plenty of coverage that's going to be going on. Some of you might not know this. I just started my very own Detroit Lions podcast. Uh, years ago, I started off on Pride Detroit doing a podcast. Uh, Chris Lemieux and those boys do an excellent job now. So there's there's a, a slot there at Pride Detroit where the podcast is excellent. I look to, uh, forward to joining them as I have before. Uh, but I have my own thing going right now. Uh, in addition to uh, what I'm doing here at Pride Detroit, it's plenty of room and Lions coverage for us to do all of these things combined. Uh, my show is called Hindsight 20. Uh, it's the Detroit Lions podcast. It's on the Detroit Sports Podcasting Network. Please check it out if you have it. You can go to DetroitSportsPodcast.com. Uh, it's on iTunes. It's on Pod Bay. Look for it. Uh, we air after every Lions game. Big podcast coming up for this. We know Detroit, uh, the POD cast is going to be huge coming up, and the coverage is going to be huge. Uh, hats off to Martha. You got the job done, but it's a lot more to do. I'll be back talking about replacements, talking about this huge news story. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Subscribe. Do your thing. Check out the podcast. And until next time, this has been Jerry Mallory for SB Nation and PrideDetroit.com.